This thing is huge. It has been quite a while since Be Quiet released a new case, but at Computex, they went all in. Meet, don't fall, no. Meet the new Be Quiet Dark Base 901? 901 Pro, it's not like I imagined it to be. And for today, we are going to take all of this mess here, and sorry for the mess, and put it into this puppy. And before we do that, let's give it a, a bit of explanation. So this is Be Quiet's newest and best case that they have on the market. And it's a beast. We have not yet finished the review. We are in the process, but I need a few builds in it. And I wanted to use this opportunity to do a first time build on camera before I finish writing the review. Now, I have already done all of the B-rolls uh, about the different features of the case, so I have seen it from every angle and I have filmed a few mini steps, but I have not done a full build inside of this thing yet. But it is a lot better than the original Dark Base Pro. It, it really is. They, they did a hell of a job in this one. But the thing is, I need a different type of build this time because I wanted to do a follow-up video where we test each like let's say individual um, feature that be quiet build in that enhances performance thus we will today do a let's say general build and I will purposefully block these features even though they should have been used and in the next video we are going to be able to one by one activate those features and then see based on the temperature or based on let's say clock speed how much of an improvement each individual step is so yes this is going to be a very weird build um, to give it a short explanation for example we will install all three of those fans on the on the side here but we will just not make them run that's what we are going to do today it, it's a bit complicated however at the same time I'm able to use a new part that AMD just sent over. This is the Ryzen 7950X3D. Now this is something I have been waiting for a long, long freaking time and they finally sent it over. And a nice side effect about all of this here today is that I was forced to do a BIOS update on the X670E ARS Master from Gigabyte that I have right here. Uh, in order to support this 7950X3D. Uh, and this... And this then provides me with the perfect motherboard for the next video, which is going to be the review of the 7950X3D. So you see, everything aligns very, very well today. For the RAM, it's going to be the G-Skill Trident Z5 Neo, because they are still the best DDR5 RAM that I have. However, for cooling, we are going to do something kind of special because I wanted to use mm -hmm. a Be Quiet AIO and the biggest that I have is the Silent Loop 2 360. Now I have a bit of a problem with this because uh, the fans on here are still the Silent Wing 3s and I have them right here. Uh, still the Silent Wing 3s. Now they are not bad in that sense, it's not about that, but Be Quiet definitely made a design change going away from that orange be quiet logo like as you can see here on the case there is basically nothing orange anymore and i didn't want to destroy the whole thing so what we are going to do is replace those with the new be quiet silent week 4 pros in 120 just to keep the design going so all of the fans inside of the case will follow the exact same design or it, it, it will basically be the same fan in different sizes and speeds it's everything silent wing today so the case comes with three Silent Wing 4s uh, at uh, 1900 RPM and we have two in the front and one in the back. Now in the front I can fit another 140, which is this one here, also a 1900 one. Um, so the front is full, then... Oh yeah, in the bottom, that's where the second one goes, in the bottom, and that's one of those special features, uh, there is space for another 140 or 120 fan, so that is where the second 140 millimeter Silent Wing 4 1900 RPM is going to go. Then for the leftover three, those are 120s and those are the 2500 RPM quick ones. Yes, these are going 
in uh, on the side panel so right next to the motherboard however as i said neither the bottom one nor the ones on the side are going to be activated and we are doing that because later on i wanted to have an exact number of how much this actually benefits you to use these fans in the bottom as i said it's going to be a bit complicated today now, we are going to go a bit more in depth about the case in the review of course we are but there is one feature that made me so freaking happy and that is this um let's say gpu anti-sag bracket slash cable hiding thing and this is amazing because i do not own even a single colored cable set uh, which would fit into any rtx 4000 cord and that sucked for the last three four months i have not been using even a single colored cable everything was plain black and dirty and no but for today we can use the original but for today we can use the original octopus cable and completely hide it away which allows me then to use nice looking cables without having an octopus that looks dirty again. And the card that we are going to use is the RTX 4080 from Gainward, the Phantom model. And if you ask why, then it's because it's beautiful and design-wise this fits perfectly. So that's why we are going to go with this one. Then for the cables, as I just said, I can repurpose my be quiet colored orange and black cables and i don't even need more because the octopus will be original and i will hide it away which is great so okay i think everything has been presented so far so i guess let's get going and before we start look what atrocity i have done again i mismatched the different socket covers what a monster am i To give you a bit of insight while I put all of this together, until now I am very surprised with the case to be honest. Like when I saw the coverage on Computex or Be Quiet's own presentation, I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't too, too happy with the result. The video that I saw, or in the video, the case looked incredibly plasticky. Let's say it was not that it looked bad per se, but I don't know, it, it didn't sit with me right. However, now where I got it, I have to say it is not as plasticky as the video suggested it would be. It is it is metal, a lot of metal, not as much plasticky. However, it is significantly easier to work inside of this one compared to uh, the older one. And I would even go as far as to say it is as easy as it was building inside the 802. If that is really the case, we will find out today. But based on the B-rolls that I already took until here, it really seems like that. Ooh, whoever had the CPU before me did a fine job in cleaning. This is really clean. Okay, so far so good, but before we put this into this, uh, let's first have a look at the fan situation. And where do I put this now? Here. You see, not even six months, all the plants are dead. I need new ones, I need plastic ones. I'm going to buy some, some Amazon crap made out of plastic, maybe some bamboo, something, something along that line. But before we install the fans, let's quickly just swap the pre-installed fans of this cooler because nobody needs fireblade threes bye 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 and hi 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 but before we mount them down i wanted to reduce the max fan speed to hs mode which i believe is 2500 something along that line and the reason i'm doing it is because i need uh, a bit more room to play with uh, once we get into the whole temperature measuring phase uh, of this build it's it's a very complicated topic of why i'm doing it like i'm doing it but it will make sense in the end believe me okay now 
let's briefly talk about the orientation or the layout of everything. So the AIO will be installed in the top and the top is also the only part where I will uh, or already have removed these um, noise cancelling styrofoam whatever sheets and the reason why I've done that and the reason why we are not installing the AIO in the front where it uh, functions anyway because if the top is blocked off with these isolating things then it's basically zero airflow it's, it just shuts down everything so the reason why we're doing it this way is because that's the way that I can most effectively let's say measure how for example the fan in the bottom will enhance the cooling or how the front will enhance the cooling now for the AIO it will also work uh, for the front, I could have mounted the, or I could mount the AIO in the front and then replace the existing acoustic panels with the airflow panels. However, if I do that, then no matter what I do afterwards with the side fans, with the bottom fan, uh, that won't have any impact on CPU performance. Now, the bottom fan is mainly for the GPU, that's definitely true, but the sidewise mounted ones, at least not the top two. So in order to be able to, to test these sidewise mounted fans, that's why we are going to install the AIO in the top. Uh, other than that, I think everything was already covered. In the first, let's say, installment of all of this, we are going to leave everything blocked off. It's not going to look pretty, or not in my opinion, I would have preferred the uh, mesh panels, but that's for the next video. For today, it's going to be all blocked off, except for the top. So, at this point, I would say, let's begin. Now, before we actually do anything, already something that Be Quiet did perfectly this time. When you unmount or remove the front of a case, which, by the way, is extremely fragile to dust, uh, to, to fingerprints. It's, it's, it's crazy how quickly this collects fingerprints, but usually that's a nightmare. You, you need to, you know, put the hand in the bottom and then pull, and then it's, it's, it's an explosion, and it hurts, it hurts my fingers, it hurts the case. Sometimes you, you even break off one of the, the plastic clips. It's, it's a horrible experience. However, in this, listen to this pop. It's like it's dampened. These clips are amazing. They did an amazing job with some stupid clips and I'm so excited about some stupid freaking clips. Now, one thing that I did not particularly enjoy is that all of these dust filters are either slide in or clipped in and I would have really preferred to have it magnetic, but I mean, cost saving measure, I guess. Another thing that I'm really missing from the original Dark uh, Base Pro, Dark Base Pro, yeah, from the 9000, the 900 Dark Base Pro, is all of the, let's say, the, the, the rubber pieces around the, the cable holes. That, that was just a very aesthetically pleasing thing, and they removed it, and I don't understand why they did that, but okay, they could have gone black, but they didn't. Uh, something special that Bequire did in the front of this case is not mount the fans immediately against these uh, fan brackets here. And that has a reason. And the reason is that if you install the acoustic panel or you leave the acoustic panel in, what it is going to do is be a nightmare. It's going to be... Oh, well, you know what? No, let's remove the panel. Let's do it how be quiet expected us to do it. So if you would not use these huge spacers here and those freakishly long fan screws, you would almost uh, touch the acoustic panel with the fans and that's not particularly good. In theory, you can glue a dust filter against the fan. That doesn't do a lot. It will do a bit, except for, for example, radiators. If you need to move a lot of air without a lot of restriction from point A to point B, a bit of space will always help you, especially in, in the whole acoustic panel world. So that's why they have these huge spacers. And now I'm just going to somehow add a third fan to that. Please do not fall. Ah, damn it. Okay, this is horrible. Aligning the bracket with the spacers is not quite the enjoying thing. Okay, I think I have it now. Perfect. 
And as small as Be Quiet was, they added a triple fan hub in the top because you cannot mount more than three fans, so this makes perfect sense. I just hope that the bottom fan of the cable is long enough to reach there. Yes, it is. Amazing. Perfect. This is a solid front panel. A bit of cable mess hiding. Just squeeze it and that's, that's pretty cool. There is enough space in between a uh, silent wing and the frame of this whole thing that you can just squeeze the cable right in there. And you are maybe not completely hiding it, but it is out of the way, it doesn't budge, and that's, that's so freaking cool. Okay, let's put it back in. Tick, 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 done. Perfect, front is finished, and because the PVM signal is transported using the freaking case, it's, ah, half the work is already done. Uh, next fan would be in the bottom, and for the bottom one, have a look at these here, I left in these uh, clip-in thingies, because that's a lot easier to use. This is one of the things, because yesterday night I recorded all of the, the b-rolls for how to put things into it and, and, and all, all of that. So uh, I came to the bottom fan and I remember in the original Be Quiet dark base case, to install the bottom fan it took like a freaking hour. It was remove this panel, and well this panel has like eight screws in different places, then remove this panel and then here and then there and it was, it was a, a crippling nightmare. In here however, I already removed the, the bottom hard drive bracket, which is basically just two screws, and then you just put it in and you are done. Oh my god, is this simple. How could they do what they did on the original one? This is so much freaking easier. And from here, because I already removed the bottom dust filter by just pulling on it, I can already now put in these little pins or screws if you wanted to use the screws and, and it's so much easier. It's it's completely crazy. I already love this case. And now where uh, two of these pins are already in, I know that the last two are, you know, I don't need to move the fan anymore. It's a straight thing. It's so much easier. Last one. How easy was that? Next part, power supply, which is not going to be an enjoyment as much as the rest of the build because they use a technique that I do not particularly like, which is this bracket, which in my opinion is just a waste of time because it forces me to do two things instead of just doing one thing and that I just I just don't understand it. <laughs> now another thing I do not let's say completely understand is Be Quiet has this beautiful little like organized box which is beautiful and then they give you this full of screws instead of making the organized box just minimally bigger and then fitting all of it in there. And now comes the part that I do not enjoy, which is somehow getting all of these cables through. Why... Why did you do that? Ta-da! An additional step which could have been prevented. Okay, now another nice thing, which I'm not sure you can see, the whole thing is a honeycomb mesh, but like a big honeycomb mesh, which is amazing. And below everything, you got this very fine fabric dust filter. Somebody really does know his stuff. Dust filter back in. At this point, we can also reattach the front panel again, which we are going to leave on the enclosed one because we need to measure how much of a difference this does. And here we are. The whole fan. Oh, no, 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 no. I forgot these here. Oh, yeah, I forgot the important ones, the, the sideways mounted fans. So let's remove this whole panel here, which is, again, doable with two screws, one was right there, and the second one is already removed. And whoosh, this whole thing comes out. It is so easy to work inside of this, it is not even funny anymore. And in goes the, oh, before we do that, let's mount the fence to this bracket. Otherwise, I'm just putting more work for me to handle later. You can mount the, uh, the bracket in two separate ways, once like this, with the, the hole here being more on the motherboard side or reversed with the holes being on, on the front side. And what this essentially does uh, is you off shift the fans, which doesn't immediately make sense uh, until you want to use radiators in the front because otherwise they may start to touch. And if you offset the whole thing, you can use side wide fans 
with the radiator in the front. So I don't think that's even specified in the manual, but that's one way of doing it. And I seriously prefer it. Uh, so the fans here, like this. But they need to be pulling air in, so like this. Fairly easy. Okay, everything is done. I said I wanted to have it like this, or in this case, like this. And that way I can even use these holes to route the fan cables to the back of the case, where I can deal with them later. And now the whole thing just slides in. Ta-da! Fairly easy. Perfect. Now we have these three fans as intake from the side. But now I'm going to do the thing that nobody will understand, which is block them off again. Like this. This doesn't make any sense, but I need to do it to be sure that no air is escaping this way right here. I'm, I'm gonna close it off later when I connected all of the fans, but that's, that's the goal. So for the fan in the bottom, I will also block that by reinstalling, where can you see it, this bracket right here, right there, so that the bottom fan doesn't do anything and it won't be spinning during the first test. Then from there, I'm going to hit the GPU with Furmark, 4K everything, and I'm gonna lock the fan speed on the GPU, and we are going to observe if the or at what point, what the temperature is, and if the clock speed is going to go down, and then we will remove that bracket, install the one that like redirects the air into the GPU, make the fan spin, and then we are going to observe what happens, and I'm pretty sure something will happen, and hopefully it, will going to, it is going to be a lot. But that remains to be seen. For the sidewise mounted fans, exactly the same procedure. Close it off, don't let them spin, test the, the CPU and because it's a Ryzen 7000 chip and Ryzen 7000 temperatures are all over the place, what we're going to do is just look at the clock speed, make all of the fans, the case fans, run at a very specific number and see what happens to the clock speed once I make these fans spin. What I w basically wanted to do is choke the system a bit and then provide it with a lot more air just to see how much that, that adds up but I think the GPU is going to be the most interesting part here. Now, the video is going to be a bit longer, I see. So I think for today, this is going to be it. And for the next time we'll finish the build, we will install the, the motherboard finally, and then the AIO, and then we can start testing. So thank you for watching. Um, I have to say, until now, really pleasant to build inside of this case, really, really really pleasant. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit shocked how pleasant it is but uh, more about that in the review. But okay I hope to see you next time when we finish this build and have a look at the performance. See you next time. Bye bye.